What's up everyone? Let's talk about some recent pickups. We got some gems and we got some useful items that I've been using. Let's get into it. So starting off, we have this camp collar shirt from Olive Clothing. So it has been brutal outside to the point where it might as well be winter and I'm just gonna stay inside all day. But if I do go out, it's either going to be a tank, which I'll talk about later, or it's going to be this oversized smart camp collared shirt. So camp collared shirts or resort style shirts are something we see all the time during the summer. You know, you got some floral stuff, my color block ones, things like that, but they're almost always fitted or slim fit. I wanted something a little bit more oversized, you know, something that looks a little bit different on a fit. Don't get me wrong, I still love my fitted resort style shirts, but this one just feels much more airy. It's light, very breathable, and shines when paired with some trousers, shorts, you name it. A versatile piece that anybody can rock. Now what sucks is with all of clothing is they only typically have one size, but I am five foot seven, I am on the shorter side, and if I can still rock this, so could you. If anything, you can take it to the tailor and get it adjusted to your body. And what I like about this piece is it does have some extra length in the back, so it extends a bit, but it's a little bit more hemmed in the front. So you got this high low cut going on a smart piece which looks really cool this next piece is an asymmetric overshirt from Antrim now full transparency this piece was gifted to me you might have seen the brand featured in some of my videos lately but y'all know I'm all about that grayscale vibe now this piece is very lightweight breathable it's cropped in the front but longer in the back definitely much more hem than the olive clothing shirt and I just love the asymmetric collar and the high low cut it just makes this piece feel much more unique the buttons aren't straight down the middle it's kind of diagonal which is really cool and the sleeves end right past the elbow and it's just a unique piece that stays simple at the same time it's an awesome piece and thank you dylan for passing this along go check them out if you haven't already follow their instagram show them some love Now my next pieces are from Levi's. This is a classic brand, classic Americana. Can't really go wrong with anything from them. So I got three pairs of pants. I got two pairs of cargos and also a pair of jeans, even though I'm not a fan of denim. But overall, all these pieces are quite nice. They have some stretch to them, plus a straight, more relaxed cut. So I do have the cargo pants in sort of a cream colorway as well as sort of a clay colorway. And then basically your standard light blue 559s. And honestly, these cargo pants, I'm definitely gonna wear them a lot whenever I skate. They're definitely comfy and can handle some wear for whenever I eat it. And plus there is a hidden zipper pocket inside the normal pocket, which is a really cool touch. And with the 559 denim, I'm gonna wear it super casually. It is a casual piece. So just a tank top and then the olive clothing camp collared shirt, keeping it super simple. Now the cargo pants are double the price to the Wrangler cargos that I always recommend when starting off, but I think they're much more worth it. They're much more premium. They are double the price. I do think they look better. There's much more colorways. Plus you also get that zipper pocket. All right, so now let's talk about these caps from Alpaca Gear. The perfect cap if I do say so myself. You get performance with that high sweat absorbent material as well as the water repellency, which makes these a staple for my style, you know? A mix of tech wear, a mix of street wear. I love that magnetic clasp. It's super satisfying and easy to attach or detach from a bag. And I did get the tan and gray colorway as I already do own the black colorway. All of these are my go-tos. I definitely recommend it over any other basic cap that you can get. It's gonna last much longer and perform much better. Now next up are some white vans. I do like the eras over the authentics because you do get some extra materials and cushioning around the ankle area. So I just feel like you're getting more of your money's worth and it's more comfortable to wear. And honestly, it's really hard not to go for the Pure white colorway so i always recommend these sneakers if you're on a budget and you want a pair of all white sneakers these are super affordable and multi-purpose it's literally going to be one of the most versatile pieces in your wardrobe you can style it and you can work out in it and they're super easy to pack for whenever you travel you can't really do all that with your normal pair of common projects so definitely always recommend a pair of all white vans me personally i prefer the eras Okay, we're gonna take a little break from the clothes because I think everybody needs a steamer. So my last steamer was left plugged in and I think that's what really damaged it. So I just had to pick up another steamer. It's much more convenient than pulling out an iron, pulling out the ironing table. It's much more of a process to get wrinkles out of your clothes. Plus it also saves space, me being a New Yorker. So that's why I always recommend a steamer. Now just keeping it real with you guys, it doesn't do as good of a job as an iron would for when it comes to dress shirts. But for your average tee and pants, hey, this is my go-to. And what I really like about this steamer 
in particular is actually folds like this so it's easier to travel with obviously don't keep water in this during your tsa check but this steamer always goes and travels with me because no matter how good you roll your clothes it's still going to develop wrinkles let's just let's just be real so go and get one of these if you haven't already okay so i've got a ton of questions on these tank tops right here they're not like your traditional tank tops they can be worn normally basically like a cutoff tee just not as douchey but yeah these are just from h&m they're six bucks this has been my go-to for the summertime and why i prefer these over a normal tank top at least for summertime is because they're much more wearable i can actually work out in these and i can wear it in a much more stylish way than a standard tank top those standard undershirts and tank tops you typically kind of have to wear with an overshirt at least for me i personally just don't like wearing a tank top like this during the summer and that's why these tees are a lot much easier to wear and i honestly prefer working out in tanks like this rather than stringers and thin tank tops i also just got me some more crew socks these ones right here are from amazon this has been my go-to crew sock for the last four years or so they're comfortable sweat wicking and definitely much more premium than even those nike elite socks that everybody's used to plus there's no branding or anything and i highly recommend these i just you know you lose your socks in the the washer dryer or on vacation or something like that and i just had to pick up more okay so now i have a pair of frames y'all know how i feel about frames frames are like jewelry for the face and this one in particular is a very premium one from the brand rag and bone so what's cool about these frames is it's actually made out of titanium plus it has that tortoise shell design right there which is really really cool it has a good weight to it it's spring loaded so it's going to adjust for different size faces and it's just clean simple and very premium now when you first get these it does say rag and bone it does say titanium frame you can easily scratch it off just don't be a, a dumbass like me and scratch it off with metal because you're gonna leave scratch marks like i did but you can't remove that because it does look kind of ugly and i also got a pair of denim from rag and bone as well i've always heard that they have some solid denim and honestly they do this one is simple slim fits the sizing of these denim may not be on trends but i've always liked skinny denim i've worn them basically my whole entire life and this pair of denim doesn't have as much stretch which honestly i kind of like that and prefer that just in terms of a premium quality product now is it comfortable kind of it's not uncomfortable but it's not super stretchy either but yeah again denim is denim and that's kind of the reason why i don't like wearing it even if it does have stretch it's not as particularly comfortable or breathable but i must say it is a really nice piece all right so my next item is actually a shoe rack so if you guys watched my apartment tour you would know what i had before it was kind of a mess and from an interior design perspective that was not very tasteful at all now all my shoes were all over and honestly the sizing wasn't right i could fit like three and a half pairs of shoes with this new shoe rack i could fit four pairs of sneakers per row and so my old shoe rack was made out of wood but it felt super unstable this one's actually made out of metal and plastic and it's actually much more sturdier absolutely waterproof whereas the wooden one isn't and it was also much more affordable and why i prefer this shoe rack over the other one is there's actually doors for your sneakers so it's just an overall clean look whenever you walk inside your place and you can dedicate each box for a certain type of sneaker or colors however you prefer and then finalizing this video i got some new gear i got the aperture 120d if you guys have seen the lighting in this video it looks much more nice and flattering and it's definitely a great light i think every creator should get it if you're a full-time creator when you're starting off just stick with the natural lights and your iphone you don't need fancy gear and i also got a new gimbal because my other gimbal had to retire this gimbal is from z yoon it's much more lighter and easier to travel with and it also looks much more nicer than my old one shout out to my boy jason vonk for the recommendation and those are my pickups y'all pretty simple items definitely something that will stay in my wardrobe something i'm going to use a lot like the lights the steamer if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't already make sure you check out my other summer videos i got some on summer fashion mistakes styling shorts color blocking and all that also give my instagram a follow and until then stay fly Deuces.